Hey everyone, this is Crazy Kathy bringing you autism news. Now, this is a story that I just got. Oh my gosh. I I keep on reading it over and over again. I don't even know why. I think it's because I was trying to do this video on my laptop and it didn't work. So now I'm doing it on my phone. So, here we go. Um, it's a, a Mike family kept autistic woman caged for forced her to let's see forced her to eat it, to eat her mother's ashes <laughs> that's disgusting there's one of the suspects and she needs to be slapped quite a few times so let me bring it up okay Five members of a Mike family were accused in federal court Thursday, July 26, and kin of a kidnapping and holding a 20-year-old autistic relative captive for roughly 10 months, padlocked in a shed, and then in a makeshift backyard backyard cage, and subjecting her. Let's see, sorry about that, guys. Subjecting her to a range of humiliation and abuse in that um, includes shooting her with a BB gun, covering her with count of contents of family septic tank. Who that's what pee and feces. That is so disgusting. Ugh. Sorry guys, mind me. Yeah, and forcing her to eat her recently deceased mother's um, cremated remains from a cereal bowl. That's disgusting. That's actually sick. Let me bring this up a little bit. This way. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. That is just, this is sick. Family, let's see, family often at the direct, directions of a 42-year-old Madrick Raylan. Nope. Also withheld her social security benefits and forced her to perform housework and yard work with no compensation and often in a demeaning manner. <sighs> I just want to slap that woman. They also ordered her to make sexual advances to several men in a sex trafficking scheme. The in the indictment alleges. Along with Raylan, no, the six-count indictment charges her husband, 45-year-old Terry J. Nope, the second. What is he, royalty? He doesn't even, you know, he doesn't even, oh my God, he doesn't even deserve that, the second. He has to knock that damn thing off. And their children, 23-year-old Jody Lambert, and 20-year-old Taylor Nope in the forced labor conspiracy. Lambert is Raylan Nope's son, and Taylor Nope is Terry Nope the second's daughter. Court documents did not specify how the victim is related to her alleged tormentors. The horrified abuse began in August 2015, roughly a day after the August 12, 2015 death of the victim's mother's, according to you know, mother's death. Ugh. In the August 2015, the four accused abusers, along with the, along with their 22-year-old victim, moved from Kentwood home. Shared with the mother, late uh, victim's late mother, to a mobile home in the 5,500 block of Rushing Lane. The abuse continued through June 2016. Uh, let's see. The fifth family member, Raylan Nope's daughter, 21 year old Bridget Lambert, was also charged separately in a in a bill of information dated Monday. Bridget Lambert, who was accused of participating in the forcing labor conspiracy, periodically lived with the fam apparently lived with the family on Rushing Lane. 
To ensure the woman did not escape, the five family members regularly threatened her with violence and death, reinforcing their treats with the, I'm sorry, not treats, <laughs> it's not a treat. The reinforcing their threats with beating and other abuse, like holding a gun, uh, holding a gun to her head, holding her hand to a flame, and holding her underwater in a hot tub as she struggled to come up for air. If she reported her abuses to the law enforcement, they would kill her. The family also ensured the victim had no resource for escape. Terry Nope kept the victim's Social Security payment, which totaled nearly $8,800 for the roughly 11 months period, while Raylynn Nope confiscated the victim's state issue ID, cell phone, and laptop. In addition, they forced the, the victim to take meth and prescription painkillers, telling her they would report her to the police for drugs use if she failed to obey their orders. You know what? That makes me sick. The indictment despite Raylan Nope as a ringleader of the abuse, ordering the other family members to designate and physically assaulted the victim and kept her locked in a tent then sh and then a shed then a chicken wire cage in the in the backyard it was Raylan Nope who forced the victim poor mo forced the victim victim to pour the her mother's ashes from a, an urn into a cereal bowl with the milk and then eat mixture with the spoon as the as the victim followed commands, Raylan Nope, Terry Nope, Jody Lambert, and Taylor Nope st stood nearby, watching and laughing. Well, I'd be laughing at them now because they're behind bars. Those dumbass people. The victim vomited onto the table several minutes after consuming. I would too. <laughs> that makes me sick now. The indictment charges Raylan Nope, Terry Nope, the second, Jody Lambert, and Taylor Nope with the conspiracy to c obtain forced labor, for, uh, forced labor, forced labor, and using force and threaten, using force and uh, and threat of force to in, interfere with the victim's Federal Fair Housing Act. Right, let's see, act rights. Raylan Nope and Terry Nope, the second, are also accused of attempting sex trafficking. Terry J. Nope, the, the second, is additionally accused of committing a hate crime, with prosecutors alleging he shot the victim with a BB gun while calling her retard. Oh, I hate that name. I really. It makes me want to go over there. And just, mm, just calm down, crazy Kathy. Calm down. There's just idiots out there who doesn't deserve to live. Well, guess what? Maybe they don't deserve to live. They're the ones that are doing it. I don't know why they're doing it. I don't know. They're getting a, a thrill of it. That is disgusting. He is also charged with the theft of government funds and connections to the stolen Social Security benefits. Bridget Lambert, 21, was charged separately in the bill of information with accused her of one count of disappearing to obtain forced labor. She should be charged for the same amount as these people because she was there. She should only get, she should get more than one count. The five family members were arrested by the, by the Tang G, I don't even know how to say that, Parish Sheriff's Office during a June 30th, 2016 sur um, search of the Rushing Lane property prompt by called, let's see, prompt by calls about a cage woman. <laughs> Yeah, see, let's let's hide the cage with trees and that stuff, and then see what happens. And you got caught. In the falling in the falling days, 
In the days following the arrest, Sheriff Daniel Edward released disturbing details about the alleged abusers suffering by the woman at the hands of her capture. The cage, which had no electricity or running water, contained a mattress, some personal belongings, and five-gallon bucket used as a toilet. Edward said, The woman was made to perform sexual acts and, other, and, and others, and the suspects were, fo- were moving to force her into prostitution, a plan uh, event on social media, he said. But Thursday federal indictment contains a much more um, detailed outline of cr- cr- uh, crime. The indictments list 35 overt acts that, from part of the family's conspiracy to have her have their captive do housework and yard work in exchange for food and food and water and to perform at section see to perform sexual uh, let's see uh, sexual acts many of let's see many of the list items reportedly occurred at the direction of Ryland Nope. The abuse began after the family moved into the mobile home on Russian Lane. Though the victim was intentionally allowed to sleep on a mattress on the floor. She was soon thereafter forced to spend her nights locked into a tent in the backyard, which, let's see, when the victim tried to escape, Randling no threatened to kill her, and then the family moved the, the victim's tent into a padlock shed. In the spring of 2016, at Raylan Nope's instruction, the family built the chicken wire ca- cage covered with a tarp and hidden beneath branches. Yeah, that's a really do. That's higher beneath the branches. No one's gonna notice that there's something there. I don't know. Each morning, the victim was let out of the cage to do work, often in a demeaning fashion. Court documents accused, for example, Terry Nope once ordered the woman to use her tongue to clean up a spill on the floor on the kitchen floor courts showed if Raylan nope was not satisfied with the victim's work she denied the victim food and according to the to the indictment the group r- routinely assaulted the woman the in, indictment alleges, along with the, with shooting the victim with a BB gun, Terry Nope smashed her hand with a ha- with a hammer, fracturing bones, and burned her head or her hand with a cigarette lighter. According to federal, okay, uh, um, as he burned the victim, Bridget Lambert held the victim's arm in place. According to court documents, um, various family members punched the 22-year-old woman in the face and head and struck her with a wooden board and a shower curtain rod, a metal padlock. One of her head wounds was glued shut. She was regularly called stupid, among other insulting and threatening. Jody Lambert once held a gun once held a gun to the victim's head and threatened to pull the trigger if she did not obey obey his orders. Another time, Terry Nope and Jody Lambert threw a bucket of human waste onto the woman, onto the, onto the victim. The victim, who was covered from head to toe with the urine and feces, uh, began to scream while... Jody Lambert laugh. In a uh, July 2016 new uh let's see new conference news conference uh Daniel Edwards said he read about such a case in in the other parts of the country but had never seen firsthand anything like this in his career. 
A real tragedy was going on right here, he said. The case investigation investigated by the FBI New Orleans Field Division is being prosecuted by attorney with the U.S. Justice Department Civil Rights um, Division and assist U.S. Attorney Julie Evans based in the New Orleans. You guys, this is really sad. This is really sad. And I, it doesn't show it. Shoot. There's somewhere around here is the picture of where she was staying. Let's see if I, maybe I... Do, 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 do. I guess not. I mean, these people are sick. Uh, it's like it. Autism. They think that people with autism are stupid. They're retarded. They don't know anything about what's going on. And you know what? I know something. That is wrong. They're not stupid. They're actually smarter than these idiots. This makes me mad and sick to my stomach reading this. And I mean, I, I didn't know if to put it on my page or not. But you know what? I'm glad I put it on my page. And I hope you guys comment down below. I hope you guys tell me what you think. And please make it to where this, it's to this, um, to this, uh, um, article. I mean, it's like, it's really safe. So if you turn around, if you think this is disgusting, push that like button. And, you know, comment down below. Subscribe to me if you if you want, because I'll do more. If you guys want me to do more, push the like button and do more about stuff like this. I mean, this is this is what people need to hear. This is what people need to see. People need to see morons like her, morons like like her husband and her kids. Her kids should have been taken away because she wasn't. She didn't raise her kids. She, no, no, the kids should have been taken away. Anyways, and until the next video, this is Crazy Kathy signing out. And I hope you see us and have a good day. Bye.